Hola, bueno, este es Aaron con anetcomputers.com. This is Aaron with anetcomputers.com with another video for you today. This one I filed under operating system problems. Computer keeps shutting off. Fix Vista unexpected power down. Could this be a reason why your computer is shutting off unexpectedly? Log name, system source, Microsoft Windows kernel, power PM. Task category none, level critical keywords to user and system, computer, owner PC, description. The last sleep transition was unsuccessful. This error could be caused if the system stopped responding, failed, or lost power during the sleep transition event XML. You've tried a MS config option using selective startup and nothing changed. You could try to use system restore point to revert any changes made to your Vista computer. Also, checking your BIOS to make sure it's not set to power off when in hibernation or sleep mode. You can try entering your computer's BIOS by hitting either an escape, F1, or delete key when that computer first powers on. It depends on a manufacturer of your computer, Dell, IBM, Lenovo, Compaq, Toshiba, etc. have different keys to enter your BIOS. So you will have to know which key to try to enter your BIOS. If you're using a laptop, make sure you have your AC adapter plugged in or if that battery gets drained enough, a default BIOS and operating system sleep settings will cause that computer to shut down. You could also try to update your video card drivers to their latest release from a manufacturer. So you want to browse to a manufacturer website for your video card. Let's say it was NVIDIA. You want to go to NVIDIA's website and then look for your model of video graphics card and download your driver from that website rather than using Microsoft Windows drivers. Making sure that you have Vista Service Pack 2 is recommended. One other tip is to make sure you didn't disable a Vista hibernation file when using Vista's system cleanup utility. Please check out this How to Restore Windows XP to a Previous State article for instructions on System Restore. So I'm not going to read through entirety, but I'll show you this Microsoft article. And then in a description of this YouTube video, I will include a link to my blog post on anetcomputers.com so that you can read over this on your own time and then also have access to three of these hyperlinks. How to restore Windows XP to a previous state. To continue receiving, well, I don't need to read that. <laughs> but, so this just gives you an introduction and then detailed steps on how to use System Restore. So if you've never used System Restore on Windows XP to restore to a previous state, then these instructions will show you how. Basically, what you do is you go and open up System Restore, and this, when you browse to this web link, it has detailed instructions right here, So and with including pictures. Basically, you open up System Restore and then you choose a date that you want to restore your Windows XP machine back to. So let's say it was May 10th. So let's say today you want to restore your computer and May 10th was yesterday and you installed some drivers or some software onto your computer or a service pack and then all of a sudden you notice your computer just wasn't working normally or it caused in this case it caused your computer to shut off unexpectedly you can then restore your computer back to May 10th also you can read how to obtain the latest Vista service pack article that will show you how to obtain Vista service pack 2 highly recommended especially with Vista if you're running Vista out of the box without Vista Service Pack 1. It's highly recommended that you upgrade to Vista Service Pack 2 and this web page from Microsoft shows you how. Learn how to install Windows Service Pack 2, SP2. How to get SP2. 
click the start button click computer then click properties if service pack 2 is listed in the windows edition section service pack 2 is already installed on your computer and you don't need to follow the instructions below so if you do not have windows service pack 2 installed and you verified it then this website will have detailed instructions on how to download it you can get it two different ways you can get it via windows update or you can go directly to microsoft and download it continuing on this disk cleanup tool article explains how to make sure hibernation wasn't affected when running disk cleanup so a third and final link I used the disk cleanup tool in Windows Vista and now the hybrid sleep feature and the hibernation feature are unavailable after you use the disk cleanup tool in Windows Vista you may experience the following symptoms you cannot see the hibernate option in power options when you use the sleep feature the computer does not recover its settings if power is lost and there's a fix it if you don't want to go through any of the manual solutions let me fix it myself you I would recommend you try their fix it first all you do is click on this Microsoft fix it and it'll try to fix that problem for you if it doesn't fix that problem of your computer shutting down unexpectedly then I would go ahead and then follow these manual instructions hopefully after all this you have now solved that problem of yours where Windows XP Vista for whatever reason computer keeps shutting off but this blog post was written specifically for a computer Windows computer run in Windows Vista but I did include instructions on how to use system restore for Windows XP it, it's so similar that it's very similar and so you shouldn't have a problem using system restore on Windows Vista you can always browse to anetcomputers.com for other possible potential tips and information and tricks to help you solve your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening. Adios.